Currently, the OMI price is down bad. You can get 1 million Ecomi tokens already for only $580 roundabout, depending on how the price fluctuated during making this video. On the other hand, you have the Vivi app. Also, prices are pretty down at the moment or already since a longer time, but you have big brands lined up and some things have come out that are really bullish, in my opinion, for the Vivi app. Now, both of them are supposed to tie together or being tied together so that you can really say that the Ecomi token is tied to the big brands of the app. What has to happen that the Ecomi price and the Vivi collectibles price can go up? Let's discuss. Hey everyone, it's the Patient Hodler coming at you with another video out of the beautiful fields and today we want to really go into the topic what is the most important to happen for the VV prices and the Ecomi prices to come back as basically one big system that benefits each other. So before we start, please keep in mind that I'm a crypto and NFT investor and not your financial advisor. Please do your own research before you ape full degen into the Ecomi token and or the Vivi collectibles. No one forces you to buy collectibles and no one forces you to buy Ecomi at this point. If you're convinced uh, that there is something good coming for Ecomi and Vivi in the bull run, then that is your decision to go into it. And if you're convinced that both are going to zero and you're not buying, that is also your own decision. But let's get into the topic, what needs to happen. So in my opinion, there are four crucial points for the development for the Ecomi token. And uh, the first one being OMI to NFT. And we know from the article that has come out around, I think two, three days before Oxier, that OMI to NFT is one of the most important milestones for the Ecomi VV team um, in this year. And also David, um, said to me that it is very important to him um, to to focus on Ecomi this year. And uh, I think that is something bullish in itself just to hear that. But obviously we also have heard um, a couple of things years ago like interoperability and self-custody and so on that have not come uh, to fruition until now. And uh, we are now three years later. So let's just take this with a grain of salt. but not make this a, a bearish video at all because of that. Just say OMI to NFT is the most important factor to come. Why? Because OMI to NFT is the thing that will tie the token to the brands. And it depends a little bit on in which form it comes. So for example, let's say they are integrating another marketplace um, that supports the Ecomi token, but also all other cryptos and you can transfer your NFTs out there, that would be good for the NFTs, but not very helpful for the Ecomi token, because if you can use Ethereum and Cardano and whatever to um, basically buy these collectibles then on, on another exchange, so to say, on something like, I, I wouldn't say OpenSea or Blur, but let's just say a smaller exchange like um, Rarables or what was their token trove, I think, something like that, right? So it would only be helpful if the Ecomi token is crucial to buying these NFTs. So you would basically have buy pressure on the Ecomi token to then buy the NFTs and then you would have a reverse sell pressure on the Ecomi token, but it would basically make them a closed economy, if you know what I mean. So like, let's say I want to um, sell a golden moment. Someone uh, has Ecomi tokens. I offer an Ecomi tokens. This person bought Ecomi tokens from the market. So there's the buy pressure. Um, we exchange, they get the uh, golden moment token or the golden moment NFT basically. And I get the OMI tokens. And um, then I can either buy more collectibles with that or I can sell the OMI tokens in the market and convert it to USDT, for example. So that would be then the closed uh, ecosystem here. So the next point is the exchanges. Where do you get the Ecomi token? We've now seen that OMI moved to base and wants to basically facilitate the acquiring of uh, Ecomi tokens for users. So don't get this confused. OMI moving to base is not a full token migration. So you don't have to 
uh, migrate your tokens now to base if you have them on ledger l1 you can just leave them there and all the exchanges that we had so far they are supporting this as well but you are able to um, acquire them now also on base so um, what you can do is you can use the uh, base layer to acquire omi tokens with less fees it makes it also a little bit more accessible it is incubated on coinbase but make no mistake it's not a coinbase listing and it doesn't reach the same user base as if you were listed on coinbase so two different things now this brings me to, to the second factor here and that is big exchange listings and i think they are necessary and what you really need is you need an exchange that is uh, capable of supplying you as investors without them going to, uh, through a lot of trouble. So it's really, really important that um, we get this, uh, yeah, this exchange listing on something like Coinbase or, or some bigger exchange where US investors can in fact uh, buy it. It can also be a bigger exchange that is not for US investors, but then it has to be something of the magnitude of Binance. Actually, it's Binance. Basically, um, to yeah, to, to, to create a similar effect for, for the economy token. So I think that's the second point. So you need to be, uh, the token needs to be highly accessible and then it also needs to do th something. These are the two points. And then the third point is um, that you need to have something very appealing that you can bring out for news. And we are seeing that uh, at some point uh, because we have the Blackpink announcement at the moment. So this is a very appealing drop and it creates a lot of news. That is very good. Uh, but you need to have something like this together with the accessible and then usable Ecomi token as well. So I think there needs to be come more and more of the magnitude of Blackpink together with, hey, uh, if you use the Omi token, you actually can save up some fees. Um, and, and then basically uh, you're bringing the Ecomi token into that narrative. Right now, this would be almost useless because there is no NFT narrative at the moment nor is there any metaverse narrative so uh, really the narrative is very very crucial now one point and this is the fourth point to bring that um, together with the crypto space again is one of the most liked features in the crypto space are burns so what needs to come to and only to nft to big exchanges and then to basically narrative announcements around the brands is that the economy token gets burned via a common mechanism and it doesn't have to be like for for sec reasons and so on it doesn't have to be uh, a buyback feature or something like that to make it happen but it needs to be something that is user triggered basically so the user goes um, into the app, he buys something and then he he basically has to have some OMI to trigger a certain feature, buy function, whatever. It can. I, I have some ideas what it could be. For example, let's say you have priority listing. So you, you have 100 collectibles listed, you want to have your listing with your mint number seen. So you could have that uh, like Google sponsored apps basically listed above and let's say it would cost you a thousand OMI to do so. And then uh, once this listing expires, the 1000 OMI, they get moved to the burn wallet. But basically the user by using the service sends that 1000 OMI directly to the burn wallet. So it would be then completely user generated burn and wouldn't, wouldn't be by, uh, made by Ecomi, right? Um, or wouldn't be uh, made by Vivi and Ecomi. So therefore would be more secure. This would obviously not solve the problem of like ha having to have like mega burn so there needs to be something else some something like specific fees for every trade that you do but it needs to come out of your wallet and maybe this could be where where the full integration of the base wallet comes in so let's just theorize this uh smart wallet uh, of coinbase coming out everything moves to base you have uh, very small fees so every minor transaction micro tran transaction and so on can move a small amount of omi uh, without really triggering uh, much fees and yeah I, I i would say that um something around i don't know exactly how it could look but something around this would would basically uh, then uh, generate this permanent um, little small um, economy outflows on every transaction in the market and it would come out of the user's wallet um, and sent directly to the burn wallet so it doesn't go through the hands of the of the economy vv team that that would be the best way to do it so in my opinion if we got half of that 
then probably that's already very bullish. The most important thing is that we go here and get, get the narrative spinning. And uh, that would then uh, lead to higher prices in the VV app, would also lead to, to higher prices um, in the uh, Ecomi token. So let me know in the comments below what you think is, besides all these four points, necessary to make the Ecomi token and the VV collectibles go up. I think one more topic that we really only touched on like in the secondary um, sense is that uh, you need to ha have crypto cash in, which kind of with Omi to NFT, it would be something like that. Um, you could see other forms of crypto cash in through the app that would make the, uh, the VV collectible prices go up. And that would benefit then on the other side, the Ecomi token, if these burns and these fees and so on are tied to the values of these collectibles. But let me know in the comments below what you think uh, is needed besides that. Maybe there could also be some, some mechanics in, involving the uh, MCP program, which makes the MCP program stronger and the OMI to MCP relationship stronger. So maybe there could be something like that, that you, that you kind of can uh, generate more uh, MCP by OMI and therefore make OMI more useful. But I think uh, that wouldn't result in much if you, if you don't have, if you don't start to get a ton of, let's say MCP scarcity here. So yeah, that's basically it. So take a look around. This is, uh, I, I think it's beautiful. I've been waiting a long time to get out here in the fields again, make a video, outside video for you guys. This really gives me 2023, 20, 22, even 21 flashbacks when I was in the fields almost every day. I want to make more of these videos for you guys. So, so let me know by smashing up the like button if you really enjoy these outside videos here. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, tick the little bell to always get notified whenever I upload a new video. And wherever you are on the world, have this great morning, evening, day, night or afternoon. And I see you in the next one.